Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email, and the email says, What's good, Mr. Locario? I have a female neighbor who's 29 years old. I'm 26. Uh, she stays directly across the hall from me and is very friendly and cool. We even hung out at her spot one night. We had drinks and was chopping it up. Sex became a topic, and she mentioned how she thinks just having random sex is thinking on a lower level, and she doesn't have random sex unless she's involved with that person. I mentioned to her that I'm at a stage where I, I enjoy fucking. like I like fucking multiple women is my thing. Uh, my question to you is, if she hits me up again to roll through, or I hit her up to roll through, how should I go about things? All right. So, basically, this is all you have to do, and this is for any any guy out there, is that when you're dealing with chicks, and you let them know, or you express that you are about something, all you have to do is stick with it. That's it. So in your case, you're saying, look, I'm, I like fucking, I like having sex and that's what I do. Right. So you stick to that thing. If that's what you actually do and you actually want to do and you just stick with that. Right. So what happens is that, you know, if she hits you up again to roll through, you know, or you, or you hit her up to roll through or whatever it is. Right. You basically just let her know that you and her are only going to be hanging out if you're going to get some sex popping. You feel what I'm saying? So that's pretty much what you have to do. Like, you don't, you don't want to be flip-flopping. You don't want to be catering to what she's saying and all this other stuff. No, you say, hey, look, this is what I'm trying to do. And if she hits you up again, be like, you know, and, and you could basically let her know like this. Like, you know, hey, listen, you know, I'm really attracted to you. And um, I don't feel comfortable hanging out with you unless we having sex or getting stuff getting it popping you feel what i'm saying because what she's going to try to do is she's going to try to come and say oh but i thought we were friends i thought we was cool why does it got to be like that and why is it always got to be about sex and sex is on some lower level thinking and i thought you were better than that and blah 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 and it's like okay yeah i understand all that but if we're gonna hang out we're gonna have sex okay it's really, it's really that simple. You just have to stick to your guns. You have to stick to what you said, what you're about, and you have to make sure that you are not going to, you know, uh, flip flop and try to say, oh, you know what, girl, it's okay. Just come over. We'll just hang out and, and we don't got to do that and blah. No, because now you are going against what you are about. And at that point, you know, it ain't going to happen, not necessarily because you're saying, oh, I don't, let's not do it, but it's never going to happen now because now she doesn't see you as a guy who sticks to his word. You understand? Because the thing is, a chick will respect the fact that you say, hey, look, this is what I'm about and you stick to it. She's not going to respect if you actually, you know, say this is what I'm about. And then since she knows that you like her, you just flip flop and to impress her or to get close to her. You understand what I'm saying? And so what's going to happen is this, is that she will either, you know, make it happen. Meaning if she comes over again, knowing that you want to smash, she'll come over and make it happen or she'll leave you alone. Right? So she'll either make it happen or she'll leave you alone. Either way, you're not going to waste time hanging out with some chick who, you know, you want to smash and she's just on some, you know, other stuff. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, you don't even don't even force the issue. All you do is let her know this is what it is. And if she hits you up, you know, say, hey, if you want, you know, if you want to come hang out, if you want to come through to the crib or you want me to come through to your crib, I'm just letting you know this is what is going to go down. This is what we need to make happen. And if it's not going to happen, then we don't have to hang out at each other's cribs and all the other stuff. If you see her in the lobby or in the hallway, you know, hi, bye. How are you? You know, regular talk. You understand? But as far as the hanging out goes before you go over her house or before she comes over to your place or whatever it is, you let her know that, Hey, listen, I don't want you stepping foot in my house unless you drop in drawers. You understand? Or I'm not coming over to your place unless you get naked. Just let her know that. So then, if she does invite you, she's inviting you, understanding that this is what's supposed to go down. Now, you're going to be in situations where you're going to be with girls who are, they're going to change their mind at the last minute and all this other stuff. 
And, you know, if they change your mind at the last minute, then cool, whatever. You just keep it moving. You know, you don't sit there and try to, like, force the shit, right? So you just keep it moving. But the thing is, is that you have to make sure that she knows that this is what's supposed to be going down when you guys are hitting each other up or making these things happen. You know what I'm saying? And, and the reason why I'm saying don't force the issue is all you really need to do is let the girl know that this is what it is, right? Because... What's going to happen is, is that she's going to think about it when she's not around you. You understand? So with her saying, oh, you know, just having sex with random guys is on some lower level thing. And I'm not going to have sex unless I'm involved with the person or get to know them really good or whatever it is. Right. While she's not around you, she's probably going to be thinking about it because she knows that that's what, you, you know, you want. And if she's feeling you in, in any sort of way. Right. She's going to just rationalize it in her head as to why she's going to have sex with you now. But see, you don't get that thinking or you don't get her thinking about it by you uh, flip flopping. Do you understand? So this is why it's important for you to stick to your guns. It's important for you to, you know, say, hey, this is what I'm about to do or this is what I'm about. And, you know, stick with that, because when you stick with that. It gives her something to think about. And then it, when then what's going to happen is, is that if she is, you know, thinking about it, she's going to rationalize why she's about to do it. So let's say if she calls you over or you hit her up and then you say, hey, come over. Right. She's going to rationalize and say, oh, well, you know, I kind of know this guy a little better. So, you know, let's make it happen. Right. Because she's trying to rationalize the situation based off of what you said you're about. Do you understand? And the thing is, you know, by you stating that and by you letting her know that this is what you're about, you turn yourself into the guy who she knows, you know, is really about that life. Who's really just trying to smash because, you know, women, this is the thing. A lot of women run into dudes and they assume that, oh, yeah, all these guys want to have sex. But what happens is they get confused because certain dudes, are, you know, they'll pretend like, oh, no, girl, it's, I'm trying to get to know you and this and that and this and that. So. When they actually meet a guy who's like, look, I just want to smash. I'm just trying to hook up and holler at me when you're ready to do this, right? When she's horny, when she wants to make something go down, then she will hit you up. You understand? Because all that stuff she's talking about, about, oh, random sex is lower level thinking and all this other stuff. That's just her talking for now. You understand what I'm saying? That's just her saying shit. And, and sometimes she could also be saying that just to you or, you know, in front of you so that she doesn't look like the type of chick who sleeps around. You understand what I'm saying? But it's not necessarily how she's going to respond to you, you know, trying to push up on her. You understand what I'm saying? And the thing is, if you ever get into the situation again, where you're chilling with a girl in her spot, you understand, or a chick is in your spot and y'all are talking about sex, you know, you, you always got to follow this shit up with you being sexual in this, in the interaction. So, you know, for example, you were saying, you know, y'all were, you know, you were, you said you hung out at her spot one night, we had drinks and we was chopping it up. And then you said sex became a topic of conversation or whatever. So while y'all are talking about sex, you should have been close to her, had your arm around her. You know, if when she's like, oh, I think sex is lower level and I don't, you know, do random guys or whatever. And you could just, you could have just been looking at her and be like, listen, you know, you know, I could tell you feeling me right now. I know, you know, you know, I'm feeling you. How about you just stop all that talking and just come over here and kiss me? You understand? Like you got to make the situation sexual because then then you start to see how she's going to respond and react to that situation. You understand? So you had the perfect opportunity to even test it out at that moment. You understand? And then see what could have really went down. You, you understand? And the thing is, you know, what you guys got to understand is that you want you want to be able to test these things out when you're dealing with these girls and see how they respond and how they react to it. Now, again, don't force the issue verbally and don't force it physically, meaning don't force yourself on no chick. You understand what I'm saying? All you're doing is sort of like, you know, saying certain things to see her reaction and, you know, probably touching her hand, um, you know, putting your arm around her a little bit and seeing if she's going to keep your hand on her hand, if she's going to move in closer to you, all this other stuff that you could have been doing. Why you were in her apartment in the first place. But again, it's good to just let her know. It's good that you let her know that that's what you're about and that's what you're trying to do so that it's already in her mind to make that happen. Right. Because the thing is this, like I said, she'll either make it happen or she will leave you alone. 
And sometimes what happens is the girl might not necessarily make it happen, you know, tomorrow or next week, but it could happen, you know, a month from now, two months from now, you know, randomly six months from now, you're just chilling, you going in your apartment and then she's walking down the hallway at the same time and you start talking and then she's like, hey, you want to come in and get a drink? And then y'all chilling in there and then you y'all make shit happen. You feel what I'm saying? But that all comes from you, you know, sticking to your guns and letting her know, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. This is what I'm trying to make happen. And we're going to make this thing happen. You feel me? So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, make sure you go to MrLocario.com and get my DVD, Reclaim the Game, New Dating Rules for Men. Because I talk more about how to, you know, um, escalate physically when you're dealing with a woman. You feel what I'm saying? And so you can make that stuff happen. All right. So I'm out of here, guys. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. All right, now before you click off this video, I need you to do three quick things. First, I need you to click the link below to send me your questions, because if you have any questions, I'll answer them in a video. Two, click the link under that to get my free ebook, The Magnificent 10 Crucial Dating Tips for Men, gives you 10 tips on how to attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.